Saturday evening about 9.50, the Kenai Police Department received notification from a person traveling in the area through a trail between Alpine and Borgen Road that they had located, they'd, they saw a piece of clothing off the trail, they got out and located what appeared to be human remains. They called the Kenai Police Department. The, we responded to that area. Our officers located probably 15 yards off the trail uh, in kind of a depression, a what appeared to be human remains and, uh, and clothing. Uh, the scene was secured for, for a crime scene response team to arrive between the FBI and the Kenai Police Department uh, that they arrived and briefed yesterday. They spent the evening at the scene till late in the evening and are back out there today. A team from the medical examiner's office arrived today and is also on scene. And so uh, I say that by way of this, uh, this investigation is, is very much in an active state. So about the scene, I can tell you the clothing and, uh, and things at the scene are consistent with the missing family. It appears that uh, from what we can tell, there are four people in the human remains. Uh, there is the clothing consistent with what we know to be missing from the residents. There is the remains of a dog that is consistent in size with the dog that is missing. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, it's been 10 months. Uh, there is some investigation that will need to go into those remains and, and just out of respect for the family, I'm not gonna go into a great deal of detail about the remains. Uh, there is also a handgun that was found at the scene uh, that handgun matches in serial number a box from the residence that had that serial number on it. Uh, so, so the clothes, the handgun, the remains all appear to match that of the missing family. One, one thing I would like to do is the Gifford family has, has given me a statement they would like me to read at the press conference, so I will read what they offered me and, th and then after that I'll, I'll take any questions you may have or I'll try to for, for a little bit. Uh, in light of uh, the recent development and the impact it has had on our family, we are releasing the following statement but do not plan to provide any interviews. Our family was deeply saddened by this weekend's development. We will continue to work with law enforcement to bring closure to this heartbreaking situation. We are grateful for the continued support of the community as well as the time and effort put into this investigation by local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies. We ask that everyone respect the privacy of all the families that are hurting at this time, Adams, Giffords, Hunley, and Jibbiton. Please keep all of us in your thoughts and prayers.